Hello everyone, this is tutorial 5 of the CAD course in which we'll learn about three important tools in the software. So revolve, sweep and loft. These are very important three commands and in this tutorial we will have six problems, two of them for revolve and two for sweep and two for loft. In this problem, figure one, we will practice the revolve command. So before we start, let's define the command revolve and explain how we can use it. Now, assume that I create this 2D sketch. You remember that when we did extrude, we have to start with 2D sketch and then I would say extrude for a distance of 5 meters, for example. Now, the only difference between revolve and extrude is that extrude works with linear displacement. So I will copy this sketch linearly for a distance of 5, for example, while revolve will do the same copying but in a circle. So I would say copy this at an angle of 180 or 360. So I will copy the sketch it's similar to extrude but in angular path so I'll go in an angle not in a straight line and that's it so everything we did for extrude in making the 2d sketch we will do the same thing I'll go to front plane for example and I'll create the sketch with the proper dimensions the only difference is I have to select a specific axis like this in this case so I would say I will revolve this 2d sketch around this axis so that I will get this shape at the end. So let's go to the software and make this 2D sketch. So I can see that the height of this bottle is 240 and the width is 95. Remember that I'm only doing half of the sketch. So from this point, the center of the bottle to the left is the sketch I'm making and the right section will come with the revolve. So I'm not creating the whole U sketch as you see in the bottle. Instead, I only create half of the sketch and then everything will be symmetrically revolved around the center or around the axis that I would select in here. So 95 and 240. And then I have corners, these corners to be filled of radius 25, 25, and 5, and so on. So let's try and make this part. New part. Sketch. New sketch. Front plane. And straight line. Going left. Going up some distance and let me check so I'll go right and then go up and then right so something like this and then I'll go right and I'll go down for some distance and I'll go left So this is an approximate sketch and then I have to define dimensions. This is 95 and this is 240 and this is 20. Dimensions 95 and 240. And 20. Good. What I have else? This is 65, and this is 40, and this is 30. From this line to this line is 
65 and this line is 40 and this is 30 good now if this is 20 that means always the thickness of this bottle will be 20 so I will keep this distance to be 20 and this distance to be 20 as well so that I can keep the thickness similar and I can notice that this 30 is for half circle so line to line is 20 plus this is small circle half circle so I would say that this line actually is not a line the actual thing is we have a small line but it's not going until it reach the top of the bottle so I will stop somewhere in here and the distance between line to line is the same thickness which is 20 and finally I can select a circle this circle should have a diameter of 20 or radius of 10 and this circle control line they are tangent why is that? because the center line to this line is 20 and it says from this line to the edge of the circle is 30 so 20 plus radius is total 30 so I will just remove this end and I will remove this and we're almost done so the sketch is ready now but we have to add the fillets at the corners so this is radius 25 radius 25 and radius 25 so if I select the command fill it with radius 25 and select this corner this corner and this corner and and finally the small inside radius fill it is R5 and R5 so again radius of 5 for this corner from inside and this corner from inside and then I have to finish the only issue now is this small circle and I can make it fully defined by defining the distance of this line to be 20 and the sketch now is fully defined and I can confirm the sketch now I am ready to revolve this sketch but before we do the revolve I want you to remember the features and extrude when I say extrude I would select the sketch and then the software will take the same sketch through a straight line to make something like this that was the command extrude control Z now, when I say command revolve I have to select the axis so if I say rotate around this axis what will happen? the software will take the same sketch but it will copy the sketch in the circular pattern it's making a circle and I can control the angle 270 for example so I will get this if I confirm I'll get this shape so clearly you can see that I am copying the sketch in a circle but I stopped at 270 or I can say no I want complete circle 360 confirm this is the bottle or if I want the same shape I would say only 180 so I will edit the revolve and I will say 180 you can see that I am copying the black fully defined sketch 
and that's it. So basically, the command revolve depends on having a 2D sketch and having an axis of rotation. For any reason, if I control Z and control Z, control Z. For any reason, if I say that revolve, but I selected the axis to be this, I will get something different. Why? Because I selected the axis of rotation. Let me show you. Edit the revolve. This is my axis of rotation, and everything will be rotating around this axis, and I'll get different shape. And by the way, I like it. Okay? Control it. And control it. For any reason, if I say revolve, but this is my axis of rotation, I'll get something new. So again, everything depends on where is the axis of rotation. So let's control it, and finally let's go to our desired shape, which has an axis of rotation in this line, and this is my final shape. And thank you for watching the video.